Hi, thanks for taking the time to watch this video today. I'm Sean with Backflow Supply out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Today I want to talk about where you find the model number and the size so that you can order the right repair kit for the backflow assembly you have. In a perfect world, it would just have a tag on there. It would be bright, it would be big, it would be easy to read, but it's not always that way. And through the years, the manufacturers have changed the colors of it and the location of it. But there should be, hopefully, a tag on there that you can read. If there is, it's attached with rivets or screws, and it's either going to be on the cover or it's going to be on the side. So let's take a look at that first. Watts, for example, is now putting them off to the side. And this is a reddish pink color metal plate attached, and it's got the model number, the size, and the serial number. Sometimes on Watts, like on their pressure vacuum breaker, this is a black metal plate with the same type of information. Apollo has a brass colored plate and so does Febco that's off to the side and it also has the same information. But if that information isn't there, where else do you look? Well, it could be raised in the brass on the side of the assembly, like what Wilkins does. They've got their name on there and the model number. And the model number is right underneath the cover on the top there. On their 375 model, it's got this aluminum plate. Uh, and it used to be a brass plate. But the information had the model and the manufacturer name in it. So that's where you find the model numbers, generally speaking. Now, the other thing, the size, like I said, is on those tags, if you can read it. And sometimes you can't or it's not clear enough. But this is the one thing that's consistent among all of them. And it doesn't matter what size, even up to the 10-inch size assemblies that are out there. It will always be on the shutoff valves. For example, on this Febco 765 assembly, it's stamped right here on the side, on both ball valves. It's always on both ball valves. Um, it's the same thing with the Wilkins, and I'll stick some, video, the, some pictures inside of this video so you can see what I'm talking about, so you can see it more clearly. Um, but it's always there. Now, what do you do if there's no tag and you can't find it raised in the brass on the side? Or maybe it's been painted or it's corroded so bad you can't see that. That's when you need to do a little bit of investigative work. And sometimes you'll need to take pictures, we need to email, text, or call on the phone but some things to look for. Where do the checks go? For example, does it angle off to the side? Does one point up and one point down? Uh, can you not see uh, two different check covers like on these uh, Watts assemblies, for example? There's one cover to get into it. Does it have two covers? Is the cover square? How many bolts are on it? Um, what do the test cocks look like and where are they located? Does the relief valve come off the side or does it hang down below it like it does on these Wilkins assemblies? Those are some things to look for. Or if it's a pressure vacuum breaker, what type of material is the canopy made out of? Is it a metal canopy or is it a plastic canopy like on the Watts 800 M4s or on the Wilkins 720As? They're, they're a plastic canopy. And how many screws are in that canopy? Because sometimes the models have three screws, like on the 720A, but on their 420, it's just one screw in the center. All those little identifications on the outside can help us determine what you have. If we still can't figure out what you have based on the outside description, sometimes you have to open it up. And we have to talk about what the components look like. Are they metal? Are they plastic? What color is the plastic? Is it white or is it black or is it gray? What color are their rubbers? Are they red or are they black? Is it have a captured spring or not? Um, but regardless, if we talk, we can come to find out which model you have or which you most likely have. I hope that's helpful. Uh, it's not always easy to find the model number or the size, but with a little bit of investigative work, we can figure it out. If this has been helpful for you, I hope you click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And until next video, thanks for watching. Have a good day.